Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be taking a look at 10 secret moments that you very likely missed in chapter one, because chapter one obviously gets the ball rolling and you are learning the mechanics of the game. You're trying to get introduced to the characters. And many of you guys probably just want to get to the main part of the world where you're not stuck in the snow. But if you rush through it, you'll actually miss some really cool moments of dialogue and conversation and things that happen if you didn't pause for a second to explore. So that's what we're going to do in this video today. We're going to be taking a look at some of those secret moments and it all starts with Dutch wanting a proper burial for Sadie's husband. Take a listen to this right here. One other thing. When you get a chance, send someone down the track back to that farmhouse. Okay. Why? That poor woman's husband needs burying. Of course, and is it safe down there? Oh, just send someone sensible. Understood. All right. Morning. You all right? How are you holding up? Well, still alive. Mrs. Adler, once we get off here, is there somewhere we can take you? No. I, I don't know. I don't really have anyone. Okay. Well, you can stay with us as long as you want. Well, just hang in there. I don't care. Hey. Good call, Dutch. It's the least we can do for the poor woman. I say Mikey should do it, but that ain't a good idea. So that was pretty cool, right? It still shows you that I think at this point in time, Dutch still had it together. He hadn't completely lost his mind and was still wanting to show respect for Sadie's husband. But actually, we hear a little bit later from Hosea, he actually requests Arthur to keep an eye on Dutch because he's already started to notice him going a little bit crazy. Take a listen to this right here. So, you're still alive? For now. <laughs> well, yeah. Listen, listen. Try to stop Dutch getting all of you killed, because I'm about beginning to think he's finally lost his mind. And do what? <sighs> if we stop doing this? I don't know. I never knew. Guess I could never figure that out, neither. So I've always loved Hosea's character, and I think he knew from the very beginning, at least of our game, that things were starting to go very, very wrong. So this was a very telling moment that, like, you know, Hosea knows something's up, and he wants Arthur to be aware of it. So I thought that that was pretty cool also. Now, another moment that is pretty cool, it kind of shows Arthur Morgan's good side. He actually asked permission for Sadie's horse. You know, the one that he took from the barn at the very beginning of the game. He has a very interesting and he tries to be kind of heartfelt conversation with her. Take a listen to this right here. Ma'am, that horse we took from your barn, obviously we'll, we'll give that back. That was one of theirs. Killed the damn thing for all I care. Oh, okay. Well, try to stay strong. <laughs> Whatever. So at this point in time, Sadie just wants absolutely nothing to do with the gang, so she is not very receptive to Arthur. But we obviously know as things go on, that ends up changing. Now, Arthur also argues with John. So this is after he saves him from the wolves and he's being, like, tended to by Abigail. He has a very interesting conversation with him. Check this out right here. Eaten by wolves. Never heard such a ridiculous idea. Who gets themselves eaten by wolves? I mean, really, who? I didn't mean to, Abigail. You never mean to, but you always do. Always trouble. Well, I've certainly made my mistakes. What's that supposed to mean? Whatever you want it to. You are an annoying man, John Marston. I mean, you just shut up and get some rest. Abigail. Hi. How are you feeling? 
I'm hungry and half froze, but I'm all right. Good morning. Hi. How are you doing? Not so good. Gonna be all right. All right. You still here? Uh, Maybe I uh, scratch myself and feign a limb. Ain't you got nothing better to do? Whatever the beef is between you two, now ain't the time. Hey, I ain't serious. Well, ain't none of us in the joking mood right now. <sighs> Look, we're gonna get through this. Okay, well, try to stay warm. <sighs> stay warm. I'm only joking, Marston, you know that. Yeah, well, you really pick your moments. <laughs> well, I'll let you rest. So at this point in time, you can tell that Arthur and John definitely do not have the best relationship. Uh, they obviously have a little bit of an argument, and he basically just is like, John, why'd you go out and do this? You're being a dummy again. So that was a pretty interesting conversation. It, it sort of starts off the game knowing that Arthur and John, the two protagonists, don't end up liking each other at the very beginning. Now, Arthur also gets a nice little reaction from the gang after he finally brings back food to Coulter after hunting with Charles Smith. And that's a pretty cool set of dialogue from a couple people. So take a listen to this right here. All right. Caught a couple of deer, Dutch. Me and Charles. Good work, Arthur. But be ready. We're going to head out soon and see if we can find that old Driscoll. Hey, Hosea. Charles and I killed two deer. Ah. Well done, Arthur. Pearson's starting on a stoop. Well, try to stay strong. All right, Arthur. I ain't sure the answers we need are in that book, Reverend. Oh, they are, Mr. Morgan. Well, we have food now, so someone's looking down on us. Well, try to stay strong. Yes. Yes. How are you doing, Mr. Strauss? Oh, okay. I heard you and Charles went off hunting. Yeah, we bagged a couple of deer. Anyway, try not to worry. Just get us out of this damn place. May How the are you Lord doing, Mary Beth? <sighs> Cold and bored. Well, there's a stew coming. We found some deer. Well, try to stay strong. Sure. Hey, Cat. I'm glad you boys made it back all right. We was worried. Yeah, hopefully we could get out of this hellhole soon. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Sure. How you holding up? I've been better, but I'm all right. Well, we got some food now, at least. Anyway, try not to worry. What a mess this all is. I should have figured you'd be trying to scrounge booze off Pearson. We're all doing what we have to to survive. <laughs> Is that right? Well, try to stay strong. Okay, Arthur. We caught two deer, so there's food now at least. Oh, well done, Mr. Morgan. And more Charles than me. Anyway, try not to worry. Yes, well, all right. Tilly. Hey. How's that stew coming along? It's gonna be a good one. Well, hurry up with it. Please. Well, try to stay strong. <clears throat> okay, well, I've got work to do. Thanks again. Wouldn't have got Bam Deer without you. Should keep us going for a couple days. Hopefully that's all we need. So the gang, obviously very appreciative of Arthur and his efforts to end up bringing back some food, which was quite nice. Now, Arthur also ends up bullying Kieran about actually killing his best friend and the other O'Driscolls at Sadie Adler's ranch. I didn't even know you could go to this place. It's kind of the barn where all the horses are. So again, take a listen to this right here. They'll come looking for me, you know. Well, maybe they'll come looking for those O'Driscoll boys we killed at that ranch down the way. Who was that? Declan? Fat Tommy? We didn't get as far as introductions. Oh, oh, God. You got lucky. We kept you alive. 
I'd rather be dead. Patience, my friend. Patience. Is the old Driscoll behaving himself? Seems to be. Moans a lot. Keep him nice and hungry. Anyway, try not to worry. Okay, Arthur. How long are you gonna keep me like this? Ain't decided yet. Come on, I'm freezing to death here. All go on a plan, then. <sighs> 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 Hey, Charles. Arthur. How are you holding up? Okay. You got a roof over your head. Stop being so ungrateful. I'm going to die in here. Here's hoping. So I do like mean, sinister, and sort of trolling Arthur. He was just like going after Kieran here, who ends up turning out to be a super nice guy. So it's kind of sad, but at the time you didn't end up knowing that. And the last couple of moments we'll be looking at today are really just hidden dialogue between Arthur and the gang. So these don't really particularly have a theme, but you might not have known that you could have gone up and really talked to all the members of the gang here. So take a listen to this right here. We get strong, we get warm, and we work. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? <sighs> well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Hosea. What about you, Arthur? You doubt me, too? Never. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me. We weren't there, Jose. I'm aware of that. And they shouldn't have been either. Oh, we can't change nothing now. Well, try to stay strong. All right, Arthur. And the money's well hidden in Blackwater? I believe so. And they don't even know we dumped it. Oh, uh, well, you can wait then. Well, just hang in there. Thank you, Arthur. How you feeling, Jose? You've been coughing a lot. It's the cold. Thank you for bringing John back. Of course. Anyway, try not to worry. Okay, Arthur. It's okay. It's okay. You're safe now. She'll be okay, Arthur. I'm sure she will, Mary Beth. <laughs> hey, how's he doing? Keep warm. He's okay. Keep warm. Just need some rest. Just a few more days. Thank you again, we'll Arthur. This hill. That's I all right. So. Keep warm. It's been a nasty few days. I know. And we've had tough times before. We keep moving, and we keep together. Same as always. All of you. Ain't that so, Mr. Morgan? Of course. Morning. He Another day, so Mr. Morgan. That he hath no oblation. 
chooseth the tree that will not rot. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told to you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? Is it he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, that bringeth the princes to nothing? He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity, yea, they shall not be planted, yea, they shall not be sown, yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth, and he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither, and the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will ye liken me, or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who hath created these things, that bringeth out their hosts by number, and calleth them all by names, by the greatness of his might, for that he hath strong in power, not one faileth. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speaketh, O Israel? My way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from God? Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that hath no might, he increaseth their strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fail. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. That's real pretty, Reverend, but what on earth does it mean? I don't know, Miss Karen. I realize now that I truly don't, but it brings me comfort. You got any miracles for us, Reverend? I wish I did. Yep. We need something. You okay there, Karen? Fine. But I would kill for a whiskey. <sighs> you ain't wrong. Hi, Jack. Morning. How are you feeling? Bad. We'll be okay. Yeah, Uncle Arthur. You've done the best you can with this place, Miss Grimshaw. It could be worse, given the circumstances. No doubt. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Yes, well, all right. Hi, Abigail. Hi. Good morning. Morning. Mr. Strauss? Uh, hello. Sorry. Oops. How are you doing, Uncle? I'm okay. I've been through worse. Well, I did one time in. Uh... Sorry, I I can't right now. 
Well, try to stay strong. Yep. I ain't going nowhere. So anyways, that right there is 10 secret moments that you might not have known about that you can actually have in Chapter 1 in Red Dead Redemption 2 with other members of the gang, sort of hidden conversations and secret dialogue. I think this is very cool and very missable because Chapter 1, you're ready to get going, you're learning the game, you're trying to get to the main part of the world. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you know of any other secret moments in chapter one that we did not cover in this video today? You guys can let me know in the comments down below or better yet, reach out to me on my Facebook page. I would love to hear from you guys down there where you can send photos, videos, and more. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You wanna stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.